Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel for this short Friday video. It's Black Friday here in the United States and around the world. You're going to be able to have access to some products out there that may help you with your workflow. Just a few days ago, I was asked a question on what do I do to get my audio to sound where I want it to be? And honestly, I don't just depend on myself to get the audio to sound decent enough to put on YouTube or other applications. I need help. And by that help, I usually get audio plugins. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with audio plugins, maybe you're not a musician or you don't do any sound engineering. There are websites out there where you can buy plugins for your digital audio workstation. Now, a digital audio workstation is something like Reaper, Pro Tools, Logic, so on and so forth. You can use these on Audition, but what's even more important is some of these plugins for the most part will work in applications like Premiere and DaVinci. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my three favorite plugins from Waves. You can head over to their website right now. They have a sale going on. I strongly encourage you to check them out. I am by no means sponsored by Waves. This video is just me being passionate about what I do and use, using some of their products. I can tell you I use a lot of their plugins in almost every project I do. So I'm going to share with you my three favorite plugins. Before I do, check this out. You can actually buy a bunch of plugins right now. At the time of this recording, it's early on the West Coast, but this will be done by midnight tonight uh, on their websites for Black Friday. If you're not able to afford, let's say, the Diamond Bundle or the Horizon Bundle, which is what I'm using, um, I'm going to just share with you three plugins that I use in every single video that I produce. Keep in mind, I use so many more plugins than just what you see here on this website, but the, I'm just going to share my three favorite plugins from Waves alone. In a future video, I'll share my top 10 plugins and I'll even share how I actually use those plugins for my videos. But let's dive in. First of my favorite three plugins is from the Renaissance Suite. It's a Renaissance compressor. It's a very quick, dry, and easy compressor that you can easily get your audio sounding to where you want it. It's very simple, easy to use. If you've never used a compressor before, you can look up guides online. I'll have a video in this channel on how I use compressors for video specifically. Uh, but this is an excellent add-on to use if you are just getting started into video editing and doing the sound mix to get your audio polished. And of course, you probably need to EQ your voice or whatever audio you're using. So I use a suite of EQs, but my favorite one that I use out of Waves would be the Q10. Here's the Q10 Equalizer. It's one of my favorite plugins. Um, it's it's just an asset that you can use. The cool thing about this is you can set dynamic ranges at each one of your frequencies. Uh, you can set um, a compression essentially at each one of these frequencies is what makes Q10 really, really powerful for me. Um, it's not the only EQ I use, but from Waves, it's probably my favorite one. And then, of course, a must-have that everybody needs to have is a de -esser. Now, Premiere and Audition, they come with a de -esser. You can find a de in DaVinci as well. They're not good enough to get that harsh S's out of your footage every now and then. So I actually encourage you guys to get a de -esser. that's better. Um, and this is one of them right here. This is called the Waves de -esser. Um, It's just the basic one that you can get. The Renaissance one has a few other gizmos to it that help it and give it a little bit more usability. Uh, but if you're not able to afford that one, I, I encourage you just to get any of the de on Waves. You absolutely need one. It helps get the harsh frequencies out whenever you use the S's or the, you know, the sibilance in your voice. Now, those are just three of the many, many plugins I use. I use hundreds of plugins. I don't use a lot of them all at the same time, but for different uses and different purposes. Other plugins I didn't include here are some of the denoisers. You have the NS1 plugin, which I just personally picked up and I'm starting to use on my videos. I'm probably using it on this one right now. There's also the W43 noise reduction uh, for your noise reducers, but I actually use RX7, which isn't a Waves plugin, so that's why it's not in this video. Kind of rushing this video out for you guys because it is Black Friday right now and I encourage you guys to check out these plugins and buy them now if you are a content creator. If there's a plugin you thought that maybe I should add it to these top three, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you know when new videos go live and I'll see you in the next video.